Hey guys, this is Blendmaster here with another video, and this is going to be a follow-up tutorial to one of my older tutorials where I showed you how to create this abstract line effect. And after posting this, I was asked by someone how to animate the curves, and at the time I didn't know how to do it because we couldn't uh, insert keyframes for the curve or add shape keys. But finally, I found a way to do it, so I'm going to share that with you. And I'm just going to delete three of these curves just so that it's uh, easier to work with and we can see the effect clearly and if you want you can watch the tutorial on how to make these curves in my previous video I'm just going to show you how to animate it right now so I'm going to tab into edit mode select everything scale Y on the Z or 0 to make sure it's flat and then in object mode, I'm going to press origin to geometry and alt G so that it centers it in our scene. And back in edit mode, I'm just going to make sure that all of these vertices are about equally spaced out like that. And then I'll select each vertice and press control H, hook to new object. And once we do that and go into object mode, you can see if we select the empty that was placed there and move it, it deforms our curve. So now you can probably guess what we're going to do. We'll be moving these empties around and inserting keyframes to animate our curve. But one thing that I'll do to make it even easier is select this record button. So whenever we move our empty and let go, it'll insert a keyframe automatically. So when we jump to a new frame and move it, it'll have that animation ready and we can just play it like that. So I'm just going to delete these keyframes or control Z which is easier. Make sure that's selected. And I'm going to change our end frame to a hundred. And I'll just move whoops. I'm going to move all of these empties back here. Just so that they're out of the camera in the first frame. Yeah. And then once I do that, I'll go to frame, or I'll select everything and press G and left click to make sure, whoops, to make sure that everything has a keyframe added to it. And then on frame 20, I'm going to move our empties so it starts to look like an animation okay and then that's all I'm going to do for frame 20 and then frame 40 I'll move it here like that and then add some more whoops should use that one and you can see it's pretty simple this of um, the method for animating and now I'll jump to frame 60, do the same thing, just continue moving it around like that. And I'll move this up, move this over. I'll bring this down, right over. And I want to make this start down like that. And then select everything again. Whoops. And then frame 80, I'm going to have this start to come up again, have this come down, right there, whoops, okay, and then I'll move this in here, I'll move this there, move this a little closer. And then I'll select everything again. And then at frame 100, I'll just move this all the way to the top, like that. And I'm just going to set up our final touches to this. And now we can play our animation. You can see that our curve is animating. But right now, the movement like uh, picks up speed and slows down and picks up speed again. So to stop that, I'm just going to expand our timeline, switch it to the graph editor, make sure everything's selected, and then press a V vector 
and that'll keep it at a constant speed. Okay, and now what we want to do is render this out, but first I'm going to change the material of this first. I don't want this to have a bright white emission shader. I'm actually going to make it a grayish color, like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to render this out. I'll pause now and come back when it's done. Okay, so my animation is done rendering, and I'm just going to head over to the compositor in my other scene, and I'll make this full screen. And we want to delete these two images because that was when we wanted to create the still image back here. But now we'll be using our movie. So press Shift A, Movie Clip, and then open it up. And I'm just going to plug this into our Blur node and Add node. And I'm going to go back to the default scene. And you want to make sure that the end frame is the same as your movie clip. And I'm going to move it to around frame 60 right now, just so we can render out the image and see what's happening. Okay, so that looks pretty good. But what I want to do right now is create some contrast right here. And I'm going to add an RGB curves right before this add node to do that. And I'm just going to create an S curve like this. And that should be good. So that's pretty much it. Now all you have to do is set up your file path and file type like this and press animation to create your video. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to leave them in the comments as well. Thanks for watching.